All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for tuning in. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing something to my car that I thought was a very necessary upgrade since day one of purchasing the car, and that is upgrading the factory horn. Now, some of you may be wondering why, why upgrade a factory horn? A horn is a horn. Well, as great as I think this car is, and I've made a car review video about it, I'm gonna tag it somewhere in the description box below or in the iCard above. Uh, the, one of my small grievances that I actually didn't mention in that video was how weak this horn sounds. I mean, take a listen. Nobody's respecting you with that horn. They're gonna be looking for a person on a bicycle or a go-kart. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to upgrade the uh, horn, the factory horn, to a PIAA or PIA as I believe it's pronounced, uh, super bass horn. All right guys, so here's everything that you're gonna need for your PS Superior base horn uh, horn upgrade for your Toyota Corolla. This should work for a 2019 model year and above, and also regardless if it's a hatchback or a sedan. Uh, so the first thing you're gonna need is obviously the PS Superior base horn kit. Now the only thing that comes in this box are the two horns you see here, for one 400 hertz, one 330 hertz, obviously it's a dual tone setup, and then the ground connecting wires. Now here are the few items that you're gonna need to get outside of this kit and that's going to be this toyota specific wiring harness pigtail make sure it's specific to toyota other manufacturers use different connecting leads and uh, it also comes with these uh, positive leads uh, two obviously one for each horn now those are able to find on amazon for a couple bucks i'll link those down below now what i had to go out to home depot and find were these mending plates uh, you don't need all of them they only come in kits you'll need one but I had to, as you can see, modify it, make the hole a little bit bigger to accommodate uh, this bolt right here. As you can see, here's a label, pause it, screen grab it, do whatever you need to do. Uh, it's a 1.25 by 20 millimeter bolt. You only need one uh, because we're gonna be reusing the factory bolt uh, to mount one of the horns. And then obviously we need the second bolt to mount the second horn. And then also you need to get the appropriate uh, nut for that bolt. And then finally, some electrical tape to make sure everything is well insulated and uh, cleaned up nicely. Now to get started, the first thing you're gonna need to do obviously is to pop the hood. And once you open the hood, you're gonna see these little plastic pins. You're gonna see eight of them along this whole plastic cover you see here. They're pretty simple to remove that just like buttons, you go ahead and push until you hear a click. And that's how you know they're disengaged. So you wanna go ahead and push every single one of them and then slowly go ahead and lift up this plastic trim piece. As you can see, you wanna do that very slowly because these little plastic bits will just jump out and you don't wanna lose these. And then once you go ahead and move that plastic trim piece here that uh, it exposes where the factory horn is, which is right here, just held in place by this one bolt uh, right up here. And there's my dad ruining the video. You wanna make- So this is what Matt is trying to achieve. <laughs> car that sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah. Unfortunately, that does sound better than this. <laughs> And to remove the factory horn from the frame uh, located right there, all you're gonna need is a socket wrench and a size 13 socket. Now, once you go ahead and remove the bolt uh, connecting the uh, factory horn to the frame, you're gonna to want to disconnect the factory horn from its uh, pigtail plug. You can see it plugging in directly right here. So you want, this is a pinching uh, motion, hard to do with one hand while holding the camera, but you wanna go ahead and pinch that and pull out. Uh, it is a bit difficult, so like I said, uh, you might wanna use two hands for this. And now that we have the factory horn removed, we can now go ahead and start setting up some of the wiring to go ahead and install the uh, PIA Superior Base Horn. Now, one important thing to note, you're gonna wanna save the bolt that we just uh, removed from the factory horn. We're gonna reuse this bolt to install uh, one of the horns later on. Now, to begin the prep for wiring for our uh, horn upgrade, we're going to have to fashion together uh, these positive leads 
into this pigtail connection, which is going to connect to that factory horn uh, plug. And now coming back to the factory horn, you can see that there is a bolt right up here at the top. Now this isn't one piece. You can go ahead and remove that bolt and this little uh, mounting plate uh, comes off from the rest of the horn. So this bottom piece is connected to the horn as you can see, but this top piece uh, can come off. And you're gonna wanna take that off because we're gonna need this to again attach one of the horns. You can go ahead and use the same uh, socket that you used before to detach that first bolt too. And then as you can see, you get the bolt and the bracket, the horn, I don't know, do what you want to do with it, but you're going to need uh, these other two pieces here and I'll explain later why. So at this point, you're probably asking, how are you gonna mount this dual horn setup to the factory position when there was only one horn and there was only one place to mount that factory horn? Again, because there was only one single horn. Well, if you look here to the right of that, uh, position where that factory horn was mounted, you see the exact same uh, mounting hole so that you can go ahead and mount that first horn where the factory horn was, the stock horn, and you can go ahead and squeeze that second one down in that same position. So they're gonna be right next to each other. And again, you're gonna wanna use that bracket to extend down because of the same issue. These leads will rub against uh, that little lip right there. So just to give it some space, some room to prevent any kind of rubbing or wearing, uh, you're gonna wanna use those brackets. So as you can see, you grab one of the horns, doesn't matter which one, any one you want. We're gonna reuse this uh, bracket from the factory horn and you are gonna wanna go ahead and place that right there in the mounting uh, position and then screw that in. And there you have it. Your final product's gonna look like that using the factory bracket and uh, bolt. Now the next thing you wanna do is go ahead and grab those ground wires for each of your horns and then go ahead and attach them to these contacts. Again, it doesn't matter, it doesn't, it's not labeled uh, po which one's positive or negative, but uh, from what I've seen on the website, uh, you can go ahead and connect ground or positive to either one of these contacts. So go ahead and uh, attach one to each horn, again, to kind of save you from having to work in that small space um, and you know making it more complicated than what it has to be. So go ahead and attach the ground wires to each horn. And the next thing you wanna do is go ahead and grab that positive lead, that lead, that pigtail, and then go ahead and connect it to the factory uh, mail connection right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, it's too dark, but you wanna go ahead and grab that lead and then go ahead and plug it into your new positive leads that are gonna go ahead and connect to your horn. It is a bit tight, so you're gonna have to use a little bit of force to make sure you get a secure connection. And then go ahead and lean that off to the side so it doesn't drop to the bottom and it's gonna be ready to access when you go ahead and install your new horn. And now it's finally time to go ahead and mount your new dual horn setup. Grab one of the horns, again, doesn't matter which one uh, goes on either bracket, like I mentioned before, you have the uh, factory mount mounting point and then directly to the right of it, you have a secondary mounting point, which is where you're gonna mount your second horn. You're gonna go ahead and wanna grab one of the horns, again, doesn't matter which one you grab, and grab one of your bolts here, and then go ahead and uh, secure it into place. And now with that first horn properly installed and secured in place, we can now go ahead and grab our second horn and it's gonna go in that secondary mounting location that I had pointed out earlier. Now it is a little bit of a tight fit. I would say as a side note, you might wanna mount this one first. Uh, before you go ahead and mount this one just so you have a little bit more room to work with, but I mean, no big deal. You can still squeeze uh, this horn right on through that small space and go ahead and do the same thing that you did for the first one. Now to mount the secondary horn, you're gonna wanna go ahead and grab that bolt that I mentioned early on in the video to go ahead and secure this to the secondary mounting point.
Alrighty guys, and here's the final product uh, here. So as you can see, I actually forewent, or I guess, I don't know, forewent, left out this mounting bracket that I uh, had initially fabricated for some spacing between that little lip of the uh, mounting point and the connector. But as you can see, it actually doesn't rub as much a, as I had uh, previously thought. Now that everything's connected, these they're very close, but they don't touch at all. So it's uh, no longer of a concern. Uh, you don't have to worry about grabbing one of these little brackets because like I mentioned before, it is very tight in here. So adding this will take up a lot more space and it's gonna make it a little bit more harder to work with, but uh, it's not too bad. But here's the final uh, product, connected all the, the ground wires and the positive leads, which is connected to the OEM uh, male horn lead right here. And only thing left now to do is to go ahead and connect these uh, ground wires. Now you're gonna wanna go ahead and mount, uh, you're gonna wanna go ahead and mount these ground wires to any bare piece of metal that you can find. Now, like I just mentioned, you're gonna wanna go ahead and connect these ground wires to any bare piece of metal uh, in the engine bay. And the place I chose was there is a bolt right here. I just removed it, but um, you could go ahead and put these leads. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and put them right underneath here because there is some more bare metal right underneath that little plastic uh, piece. Go ahead and line these up with the, uh, the hole and then go ahead and just screw that back in. Alrighty guys, and here we have the final product. Is uh, So I went actually against using electrical tape and instead went with liquid electrical tape for better sealing and protection from the elements. And as you can see here, we have both of our Pia Superior base horns uh, installed nice and snugly in there. And our ground wires attached to that little bolt right there. Just take that out, like I mentioned earlier, clip those right in and uh, go ahead and secure that nice and snugly as well. But that's it right here. And here is your final result. So then once you have everything in place and you're satisfied with uh, the way everything looks and is dressed, go ahead and grab this plastic cover again. Sets down nice and easy right here. Line up all the holes. And then you're gonna wanna go ahead and get your clips here. And because you had pushed them in earlier, you're gonna see they're kind of uh, recessed in. So to more or less reset these pins. All you want to do is just give it a soft push until you hear a click, two clicks, and it's reset. And now you can go ahead and you see how it fans out at the bottom. You could go ahead and pinch those together to make sure that they fit right back in the hole. Super easy. And then just push it in when you hear one click. And then you just want to do that for the remainder of the clips. Alrighty guys, and now we're fully finished with our installation of the new Pia Super Bass horn. And if you ask me, it's a huge upgrade compared to the old horn, which sounded like this. And now the new horn. World of difference. I mean, no one's going to be thinking, you know, somebody on a bicycle or a little go-kart anymore. So let me know if you guys found any value in this uh, how-to video. If you liked it, you know, hit that like button, subscribe. Uh, and let me know in the comments down below if you guys plan on doing this to your Corolla or maybe trying to do something similar to another vehicle. But thanks for tuning in again. Appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Who's got a go-kart horn now, Dad?